that is the model of the inner ear. There are several different components. There is the semicircular canal, which you can see here, and in addition to two other um, parts called the utricle and saccule. And they are part of the vestibular system, which basically um, tells your body how to balance and how to um, align your eye like sight with the movement of your head. So in the semicircular canal, you have three orthogonal or perpendicular canals. Here we have cameras set up looking at all three canals and to look at the movement of the hairs within the fluid in the canal um, in microgravity as it's being moved. And this will give us information about the movement of the head in three dimensions. So the box that you see is the uh, macula and utricle part of the inner ear. And this inner ear measures the horizontal motion of the hair cells. And this motion is simulated by sliding the box back and forth in this kind of way. And we're going to have the hair cells and mac um, macula and utricle um, modeled by this plastic box that you see. With the hair cells protruding from the bottom, and the motion of the hair cells uh, in respect to this uh, horizontal motion is recorded through a, a camera mounted on top, which is going to be transferred to the data analysis in the computer, and we're going to measure the acceleration and uh, movements of the hair cells in respect to the motion. This is the physics experiment that's going to fly in the C9 NASA plane. Uh, our purpose for this experiment is to analyze the electro output of a wind turbine in different gravitational fields. We want to do this because we might come up with a mathematical model after our data collection as well as a method to um, produce and store energy in different gravitational fields. Okay, so the two main components of our physics experiment are the uh, fan and the turbine. And the fan, of course, will produce the uh, wind for the, that the turbine will collect. And we will be modeling the apparent acceleration due to gravity versus the voltage output of the fan. And both of those, one of those will be measured with a voltmeter and another with a 3D accelerometer, which will be hooked into a data collection system. And that will just, that will give us a graph and some data of acceleration versus volt, uh, voltage output.